What's up, guys? You're listening to another episode of You Don't Know Jack, the official podcast of Roush Performance, and it is episode four, and we're going to do a little monthly mashup, just a little hanging out with the Roush Performance marketing team, giving you guys uh, some updates on what's going on in our world, and trust me, there is a ton going on in our world, and uh, we're pretty excited to uh, talk about it. We got Steve Dumas hanging out with us, Josh Massib, and our host, Jack Roush Jr., and uh, today, uh, we're going to kick things off in talking about the largest vehicle of our fleet, the Roush Super Duty. It's so beautiful and amazing and big. And <laughs> Come on, guys. Keep going with adjectives. We'll just no, I was letting yeah, you roll with it. <laughs> but, uh, it's pretty spectacular, yeah. Oh, you know, it absolutely is. Uh, so you guys are going to see, uh, and I'm, I'm looking at it here and just oohing and on over it, but uh, you guys can head over to the Roush Performance, uh, dot com and check out uh, the latest Super Duty and see all the awesome uh, specs and features on it, which we're going to talk a little bit about. But uh, I'll, we'll just kind of do a quick roundtable, guys. What is your favorite thing about the Roush Super Duty, uh, starting with you, Steve? Ooh, my favorite thing, honestly, is the interior. I mean, Ooh. I have yet to actually drive the thing, but I've sat in it many times, and just sitting in it is like a pretty crazy experience. Yeah. The, the level of detail on the inside, the, the comfort that, you know, with the seats and everything. Yes. Yeah. It's pretty wild in there. It immediately screams like luxurious. Like that's yes. It's it's wild to to be able to experience that in something that someone could be utilizing as a work truck or just their daily. But when you get into it, it feels like you're getting into something that is a quarter million dollars plus. I mean, mm-hmm. something that's just and those seats hug you and they look so good. Yes. And especially, uh, what are we call, calling the color? Um, what do, is it? Is it I amber? It's a coffee. Coffee, coffee brown. brown, coffee yep. brown, coffee yeah. brown. Love it. So, uh, no, beautiful seats. No, that's uh, that's definitely probably one of the the sweet features uh, about that truck. Jack, what about you? You know, that's a tough question. You know, really, when I think about our Super Duty, it's the presence from the outside. You know, it just has this mean, aggressive look to it, and it's it's everything. It's the wheels, tires, suspension front grill you know even the growl in the back too you know it's it's all of it put together yeah that's 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 true i mean and it's wild that that when you say that like yes you see that aggressiveness immediately i think when you see the truck you're like it looks mean it looks aggressive but at the same point this is something that you could see driving up at a valet of a extremely nice five-star restaurant and it belongs there uh, or it, you can see it tearing off down some some back roads, dirt flying, and it still works. Or towing something, uh, and that's what's pretty amazing about this vehicle. I feel like it fits into so many different. Um, I would is it is it like demographics and cultures of of all types? Anybody can can drive this, and it almost fits mm-hmm. into their their needs. Whether you're a business owner hauling things or. Heck, it's just a daily, and you never tow with it. Or what do they call it? Uh, mall crawler. Mall crawlers. <laughs> mall crawlers. Heck, you can even have it be a mall crawler. But uh, there you go. <laughs> no, don't do that. Might hit, <laughs> no, might don't hit do that. one or two Enjoy curbs. It. Yeah, drive it. Drive that yeah. thing. So, Josh, yeah. what's what's your favorite feature? I don't know, man. I think uh, for me, you know, Jack kind of said it well. I, I think for me, it's it's really the capability of it, right? The suspension system, because uh, you're not only getting an awesome ride, you're getting all the capability that you expect from the truck. So you're, you know, you're not losing any of that. And then to Steve's point, you know, you hop in that thing and it's almost like you're in like a luxury vehicle. It's it's crazy to me. So I think it's a combo. It's just one badass truck. You know what I'm saying? It is. Oh, a hundred percent. And that's, I think that's, if, if we can have just the title of headline, you like get to our site, you don't click super duty. You just (laughs) badass. There is click. But uh, that's no, all you need. Yeah, you know, it, yeah. it is. But and I think really uh, my, my thoughts on this is really just kind of encapsulates everything that you guys are saying is it is. And, and I'm not being biased here because I respect all makes and models. Truly, I'm, I'm a car guy. So when I see trucks driving out down the road, I'm like, hey, that's a really good looking truck. And I, and I do think that about certain other makes and models. But when our truck rolls out, it has something that I don't think any other truck has. And and. You will know that when you drive this truck, the way that people look at you, 
the way that 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 people are are turning their heads and and the funny part is is this connects to a story about Brantley Gilbert one of our 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 uh, Roush performance ambassador he lives this lifestyle right and everyone knows you say Brantley Gilbert you're going to know who he is country music star imagine being Brantley pulling up to a gas station and someone coming up to you not because they you're Brantley Gilbert but because you're driving a Roush Super Duty and asking about that truck that is the type of reaction that that you're you're seeing with this truck so it's pretty awesome. Um, and, and on top of that, guys, the capabilities are all there. You want to tow with it? All your all your towing capabilities that you see from factory are rolling over to this. So nothing compromises. No looks or, or this, this what we're talking about will compromise actually what needs to get done, whether it's, it's towing your family in a camper, pulling a skid steer, whatever it may be. Uh, picking up your friend like we, we did the other day <laughs> uh, from a uh, little incident throwing his truck on there. So um, the capabilities are there. You know, I think one thing to throw in there too, Trevor, is, you know, we're, I think our company culture is very humble. We don't really like to boast and brag. We prefer to show, show things in the results. You know, one thing I don't think we've talked about enough with the Super Duty or with other things that we've done is all the investment that we put into developing the system this is not just a you know combination of suspension thrown on with wheels and tires. These are thoroughly engineered. Uh, we cover them with a warranty. And when you drive them compared to a lift kit or an off-road, you know, extreme off-road kit, this thing is really refined. It's going to last. Uh, you can still tow with it. You know, it's you're not going to get tangled up with some aftermarket suspension kit, you know, it's, this is the real deal. Yep. No. And that's, that's a hundred percent. And it's so cool uh, to be able to talk to our engineers about um, obviously all the testing and, and fitments and stuff that they're doing with these vehicles, but also talking to our partners and heck, I'm actually wearing the hat now talking to Marco about tire fitment. And the reason that we went with a 35 inch tire, it's so important. Uh, it's like, Oh, well you can fit a 37 on there. Well, guess what? You're, you're, if you go to a 37, this is what you're going to kind of push back against. 35, there's, there's a perfect reason why we went with a 35 and all the testing development that happens out at Uvalde uh, and, and the communication with our engineers. It's extremely important for people to understand why we went with the suspension kits, why we went with the tires. Um, and, and you're going to experience that. You get in this truck and you're going to immediately feel like, holy cow, like this thing feels smooth. It feels capable. And then when you get something behind you, you're not feeling the load behind you, which is, it is extremely important when you're actually utilizing a super duty. So, um, I'm super excited to see this thing hit, uh, dealership lots guys. You can head over to roushperformance.com, click that dealer locator and find a dealer near you. Um, or give us a call. We'll get you uh, set up and, and, uh, hooked up with, uh, any of the dealers in your area uh, that have a 2024 Roush super duty, uh, jumping over. We're going to add one more wheel, uh, to the super duty. And we're going to talk about the latest build. Jumping back over to Brantley Gilbert Ambassador is one of the baddest trucks, I think, on the road right now. And I know we just hopped. We just uh, really put a lot of focus, obviously, on our 24 Super Duty. But this Dually is one of one. So, unfortunately, you cannot get it unless your name is Brantley Gilbert. Uh, but don't worry. You can get one wheel less, and it's just as bad. Uh, but we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Brantley Gilbert's farm truck. One of one, Roush Dually what was nicknamed the farm truck. And this is probably the baddest farm truck around. Uh, oh, yeah. What was your guys' first thoughts on this? I know we talked about this way back when as a team, we kind of heard, heard the idea of it, how Brantley pitched it. He's like, Hey man, like I want the baddest farm truck. What can we do? And, yeah. and at yeah. that point, uh, Roush is like, we got you. And uh, <laughs> we, yeah, it, it all happened pretty quick, which is pretty cool. Yeah, getting to see the the truck from like when Brantley pitched it to like him saying what he wanted to like seeing the final product has been like a, a really interesting uh, pathway and you know it's pretty much exactly what he had envisioned from the beginning. So. Yeah. No, and that, and, and, and yeah, and I think um, so. Like the the kind of the not and I want to say request, but the the wants slash needs to this was hey, I want a farm truck. Hey, it needs to be blacked out. It has to have as much Roush as possible, and I want the brands to be American-made, or or um, I want their the company's morals to be focused on American-made. 
And so we started looking around and uh, look, obviously, on the Roush side. We're like, hey, we got you covered on the DPF back exhaust. Um, we got the Roush graphics on there. We got the center console vault. Um, and then we started talking about, like, kind of the wheel side, being that it's a dually. Um, we went with American Force, uh, American Force wheels. And the cool part about these guys is actually during the pandemic, they took their um, operation from overseas to actually South Carolina here in the, just, just south of me, not even 30 minutes. And it's pretty cool that they took their entire operation. Everything happens here from cast cut to delivering to a customer. Um, and so that was super important to Brantley. And, uh, and then functionality, obviously, being able to actually tow it. Um, so we reached out to our friends down at Aikens Ford, Wild Willie's Customs. And if you guys see Neil and those guys and see what they put together, it's pretty amazing. I mean, they truly take uh, – you want something crazy custom, that's, that's definitely the cool route to go. And we've seen them do some bad Roush trucks, actually. Um, the Dream, a producer, just recently worked with Neil – Bought the Roush Super Duty. Uh, I think he got a 23 Roush Super Duty. And now he's doing it as like a Baja design truck. And so it's pretty cool. I'm excited to, to see how that that comes out. But uh, we contacted those guys, threw everything kind of together. We had a couple meetings on it. And voila, comes out one of the baddest one-of-one trucks. Um, so if you guys want to check it out, um, you could actually either head over to our site, head over to our social. Um, I know over at Wild Willys and Aikens Ford YouTube page, they got tons of videos of the, the delivery, um, and on our social, we have shared a couple cool glamour shots of this truck, and uh, we haven't found a bad angle yet. And yeah. <laughs> to, to throw on top of that, it does have a train horn. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> you can always have a good time with a train horn. So give him the, the, the chain pull if you ever see him. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't think there's one part of that truck that isn't aggressive. <laughs> no, I'm, I love I'm it. looking at it here, and you're you're... You're right. It just, it looks mean. It looks like it's just going to run you over. It's yeah. funny, Trevor, you, you kind of mentioned that story about Brantley at the gas station and the guy coming up to him and like not even realizing who he was talking to. Like he probably didn't even look twice at Brantley. Right. Because he was just staring at the truck because it's so just like dominating when you're near it. It's just so oh, big. Yeah. Like Jack said, everything about it is like super aggressive and yeah. Yeah. Right up Brantley's alley, which is awesome. Yeah. It definitely, if, if, uh, you had to make a vehicle after a person. This is this is Brandon right. Gilbert right here. <laughs> so super cool. But uh, it was exciting uh, little project that we worked on. And and heck, um, we're always always up for those. I uh, always up for some builds like that. So uh, excited always for the next one. Which I know there's stuff happening behind the scenes right now that I'm kind of working on. I think Jack's like, Shh. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but you know one thing we can talk about. And that is current parts offering some new offerings on the 2024 parts guys. Um, I'm actually lo- looking at it here. We did tons of uh, fitment and testing on parts for your 24 vehicles from F-150 to Bronco to Mustang. Uh, everything from Bronco ditch lights, console vaults, uh, air induction systems, exhaust. I mean, the list goes on and on. And, you know, the best way if you are rocking a 24 vehicle just search term 2024 you can see all the latest parts um there but uh talking about switching gears to superchargers which i think most everyone's like where can i get a supercharger uh josh do you want to touch a little bit on uh what we're offering now on the supercharger side of things yeah we got you know i mean obviously got a whole lot of them um most recently we we came out with the uh F-150 supercharger that's compatible with the, the dual alternator. So if you got your Pro Power on board, you should be able to fit it on there. Uh, work on a few other new things that we won't talk about yet, but keep stay tuned for those. Getting close. Yeah. So I think one of the more exciting things for me is all the 24 Mustang parts we're coming out with. Um, you know, that's a new great platform from Ford, and you know, I'm excited to to see you know our parts headed out there and and thrown on some S650s. So, you know, we've got exhaust kits, we've got wheels, we've got suspension kits, we've got all sorts of stuff. Um, so make sure you check that out. But uh, other than that, no, it's been a really, really exciting month for for parts from us. So, Yeah, big time. No, and, and to Josh's point, both uh, 
if you have the latest model of 23, whether it's Mustang or F-150, Mustang, guys, you're going to have the capability of 750 horsepower on a supercharger kit. And for F-150, you're looking at 705 horsepower. So if you're looking for uh, some big horsepower gains uh, quick, uh, and trust me, you're going to feel a ton of a difference. And it was always cool actually listen to, going back a little bit, Justin Pollock. Um, I think Justin knew power uh, better than most people. And uh, he could really feel it. And it was, it was pretty wild how he would talk about the gains from, heck, it was, what, 650 horsepower bouncing up to, to 675 and so on and, and kind of climbing through those ranks. And he says it's pretty amazing the, the power difference that you can feel just from driving a vehicle um, from, from one stage to the next. So pretty exciting seeing us. Uh, those are big numbers. We're talking F-150 with 705 horsepower. That's kind of wild just to think that. That's a lot, and it's drivable power too, right? So, right, right, yeah. Makes and a huge difference. We've we've driven it, we've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> we've, I think we've can used confirm. Every, oh yeah, yeah. We can definitely confirm on that. Kind of talking about taking. Actually, we have a marketing F one fifty with that seven hundred five horsepower Roush supercharger that we have taken to the hills or mountains of uh, Tennessee and uh, have tried to use every ounce of horsepower out of that thing um yes. by giving ride alongs and stuff which is what we're going to do more of in 2024 um let's talk a little bit about events i think there's a lot of questions on social hey what's going on guys what what's happening in the roush world where where are these events going to be how can i participate uh steve do you want to tell them a little bit about uh where you can kind of stay up on the latest news with roush events of course, yeah. Like you said, there's a lot of uh, questions going around about where we're going to be throughout the year, what kind of events we're going to be doing this year. All of our event information is going to be available on the Roush Performance website. If you head there and go over to the experience section, all of our events are listed out there. And then for RSVP on our Roush Performance Facebook, you can also view the entire events list over there. You can also RSVP so we know where you're going to be. You can see when we're going to be there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's perfect. And and uh the team's going to be heading out to most of these events. Um we have what is it? Ponies in the Smokies coming up here. Uh we're heading yep. to Sevierville, Tennessee. You have to say that's that a with a one. little bit of an accent uh just <laughs> cool. to get it right. out, but uh we're going to have a blast there. Uh whip through the uh the hills of Tennessee. What is that? Tail of the Dragon. Um gosh, there's so many turns at 11 miles, Jack. Oh, you know a little just... bit about this. You drove the speed limit the whole time, which I'm I'm very impressed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it's beautiful country out there. It's uh, for anyone who hasn't seen it. It's just an awesome drive. Definitely something that should be on your bucket list. But yeah. you got to be careful, otherwise, uh, it might shorten what you accomplish on your bucket list. Pretty, <laughs> pretty uh, treacherous roads up there. It might be the last true. thing you check off the list. Yeah. Yeah. I want to ride a. A tr- when I say a tricycle, I mean like, have you ever seen those big wheels with the plastic PVC tires on the back and they go drifting around corners and stuff? Yeah. That's yeah. what I want to ride down that. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but at the bottom of the tail of the dragon, there's this tree that has broken pieces from all kinds of motorcycles. A and tree cars. of shame. Yeah, there is actually a little kid's big wheel up on that tree as well. Oh, I don't know the story of that one, but I didn't even realize that. Maybe that's right. Had to leave his idea. mark somehow. That's yeah. Great. Oh, that is hilarious. No, yeah, and there's quite a few parts. I, th- I, I think between that side and I think they're working now on the other. Uh, but yeah, be very careful, guys. Always drive within your means. Uh, drive within your skill set uh, because when your skills run out, <laughs> you're in, you're in deep trouble. <laughs> I can tell you that. There's, so. There are times and places where you can test your limits and I don't know if this is one of those times. No. But. Yeah. Let's, let's maybe we'll push it to the autocross course at, at ponies, and the Smokies, or maybe some of these off-road events uh, when we're wide open, uh, we can have a little bit more fun, but talking a little bit into that guys, we are still going to uh, maintain what I would say is like our flagship events. Uh, we're still going to see Carlisle, uh, ponies and the Smokies, uh, Mustang week, so you're still going to see us at those events, but you're also going to see us at some new events. A lot of Bronco events, Bronco celebration uh, coming up that's also in Tennessee. We're going to head out to Moab, uh, get on the trails with you guys, um, really 
just hang out. That's that's really what we want to be able to get there and showcase our capabilities of our performance parts uh, and talk to you guys and hang out and do giveaways and get cool swag and listen to music and just connect. This is not this is not for us to go out there and sell you apart. This is us to purely come out and hang out with you guys. That's the that's the biggest thing that that you're going to see the experience change a little bit. Um, and we're going to offer more off road experiences by partnering with Tour, the Off Road Revolution. These guys, when it comes to dirt, they just know what they're doing. Uh, they put on a heck of experience. We've actually just met with the team yesterday and continue to meet with them uh, to plan two events, uh, one down in Georgia, one in Tennessee. Um, and I think you guys are going to have an awesome time. But the cool part is, is you think off-road, you think, oh, well, dang, now I can't bring my Mustang. Mustang owners, this is not us getting away from Mustang events. This is us adding a whole other element to your experience. You pull, pull in, you cruise in, you hang out. And heck, you make some friends and you hop in the back of a, a Roush F-150 or a Roush uh, Bronco R-Series and you get on a trail with those guys. And heck, if you happen to say get the itch and say, hey, I need a Roush F-150, well, guess what? We can uh, point you in the right direction. So um, we hope that you guys enjoy these events. This is not uh, us going away from the cruise-ins and the Mustang side of things. This is us just simply expanding uh, the, the experience. So don't look at this as getting away from Mustang. Um, and also we've talked to, uh, to the guys yesterday about a uh, potential venue that offers actually track race track and off road all in the same area. So how cool would that be? We all get to hang out and, and everyone kind of gets to do their own, uh, own flavor. So pumped about that. And I'm really excited to, to do these events this year. And we're going to continue to grow on the experiential side of things. We just want, uh, everyone to come enjoy and hang out. It's going to be fun. Though. So can't give it all away. That's right. right. Yeah, we can't give it all away. That'd be a Keep great time. Suspense. though. Also, Jack, you want to tell us a little bit about the Pro Series iRacing event that just kicked off last night, and we were we were in the same seats probably. Yeah, the same exact thing. Yeah, it was an exciting night. Uh, we just did. Uh, I, I don't know how much uh, this audience here, all you guys know about our esports stuff, but since the pandemic, uh, we started uh, doing our own broadcasts. Uh, with iRacing, uh, and uh, it's been really successful. Uh, the goal of this is not, as uh, Trevor just mentioned with the shows and events, we're not trying to sell stuff. It's about entertaining uh, our audience, you know, really supporting the lifestyle because we're enthusiasts just like you guys. You know, we live for this stuff. And so uh, through the years, we've done a lot of different things with with uh, iRacing, a lot of different formats of racing. We've had some of the best racers from all over the world. Well, now we're doing something different once again. And with this Pro Series, for the first time, we're giving cash prizes for the champion uh, in the first few spots. And, uh, man, the talent there is just unbelievable. Uh, The racing was super intense last night. I didn't race in it myself. I don't I, I'm more of a real world racer rather than a sim racer. Uh, you know, it takes it takes practice to get that good in the sim, and uh, man, it it was really impressive. But yeah, come check it out. Yeah, it was it was pretty intense. And and guys, uh, yeah, this this season is uh, booked all the way up uh, as far as driving opportunities. Um, but if you guys want to view it, you can head over to the Roush Performance Esports page um, and follow along with that. Um, we're heading to Sebring next race, then VIR, then Road Atlanta. Uh, so we got three more races. And guys, as Jack had mentioned, big cash prizes. Uh, first place taking home $2,000. Uh, and fifth place still takes home a Benjamin. And you get a VRS certificate um, on the iRacing front. You're going to know exactly what VRS is if you're into iRacing. Uh, they can get setups and kind of basically get you from... Uh, maybe a racer that that is pretty average to a really great driver. So pretty pretty cool little uh, tidbit there. But check out the action. These guys are racing for two grand, and and trust me, it is getting super exciting. We we seen some moves uh, in the uh, bus bus stop there at uh, <laughs> last night. We've seen a couple yard sales. What I call yard sales is bumper goes that way, car goes that way, wing goes that way. A uh, little yard sale action. Uh, but it's a ton of action and uh, always a just a great, great little hang. It's a conversation like this and watching some racing alongside. So some of the best racers from real-life racers to 
uh, just iRacing guys that are pretty unstoppable uh, from from the uh, Coca-Cola Esports side, from the RFK team. Heck, we had a tire changer out there um, yesterday, so it was pretty cool to to see all those guys in there. So head over to the Roush Performance Definitely. Esports page to check that out. Uh, any Anything else, guys, that we're leaving out? Any, any updates? Any new lunch Talk spots? Anything? No, I'm pretty excited. Uh, as you guys know, we're uh, going to be covering engines a lot more. Uh, we're really proud of uh, all the things Raj Performance does in the, the racing world uh, with engines as well as our crate engines. And definitely uh, uh, stay tuned for more content around that stuff as well. Heck yeah. And yeah, if you guys haven't, if you started listening on this episode, go back one episode. That's what you need to do. Uh, and listen to us talk to the Roush Performance Engine Group guys, talk about horsepower, talked about uh, best maintenance uh, practices of uh, keeping an engine healthy and, and ready to roll. Uh, so pretty pretty cool there. But, uh, guys, sure. we appreciate everyone for listening. Uh, this is a little hangout with the marketing team. I don't know what we're calling it yet. We're just, gonna, we're just calling it marketing mashup, hangout. It's just going to be short little blip bits to give you guys a little update of what's going on in our world. But we appreciate you guys. Listen to us on your favorite podcasting network, and we'll see you on the next one.